And we're live. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the closing show. So this shit right here is staying right here all year. Yeah. But this shouldn't be stressful at all. That's twenty five hundred just because you wouldn't give it to me. Jeans, private stock, please. Let's go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today is the time for another Closer Show. Welcome all you guys. I know you guys have been patiently waiting. We haven't been live for like a week when we did the last uh, Closer's Cage match where RJ absolutely dismantled Scotty Barons. If you guys didn't see that, make sure to go check out the channel. It's all going to be there in the replay so you guys can come in and see how RJ just absolutely dismantled his competition. Um, it wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. But today, he's just going to be down by himself, showing you guys exactly what to do, how to do it. And for those of you guys who have never been here before, this is The Closer Show, right? It's hosted by our company, iSpeedToLead.com, where we are going to be providing lead after lead after lead after lead. And RJ is going to be providing deal after deal after deal after deal because he is the king closer, after all. Um, most of you guys already know the drill. So without further ado, let's just get Mr. RJ in here and, uh, I don't know, see what his thoughts on the geopolitical climate is currently or something like that my my thoughts are that was an awfully nice introduction from the guy that voted me losing against scotty we had to add some variance in there man if it was a complete sweep nobody would tune in for the next one i'm just saying your tune has changed since scotty's not here listen man we get affiliate money from you we can't just you know <laughs> we gotta talk you up a little bit you're wearing a batch shirt today uh I know. I, I listen. I I represent all the companies that I use. I listen. I'm going to be using Batch to comp. I mean, I, so why not? <laughs> so you know, we got we got to butter you up a little bit. Otherwise, you know, we put ourselves in too big of a hole. You know, we're going to get a, a two month break from RJ. And I mean, we just we need those closings. I'm just going to throw this out there, okay? As a Patriots fan, I would like a speed to lead jersey because my the colors would be much closer to my new england patriots so i am just throwing it out there if gene wants to make some speed to lead jerseys i'm down to, to wear those every week dude oh my god we will get on those yeah yeah because yeah. we've been thinking about doing some of the same shit so a speed to lead jersey we can get one uh we can get one in the works before too long there you go that's sweet man how's your week been Close uh a bunch it's of been deals pretty good i'm I'm excited. You you kind of threw a curveball on how we're going to be doing today, and I'm I'm excited to, to showcase the platform a little bit more today. That's gonna to be fun. But you had yeah. your uh, you had your crucible last week. How'd that go? Uh, actually, we we did not. We we had to postpone it um, uh, due to some unfortunate circumstances. But uh, we're gonna have our next one in June. So still still looking forward to to putting those on. But we had to to postpone this last one. Well, sorry to hear that. There's gonna be another one. So there's that. Yeah. What's everybody yeah. in the comments saying? Oh, everybody's just excited. We got Cassie here, of course. Get batch tatted. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> shut up, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's a crucible student, and so uh, I can say that to Kevin. I think you were telling us the whole story last time about how yeah. you, you said shut the fuck up, Kevin, probably yeah, 30 yeah. times. He should get that tattooed across his chest. There we go. <laughs> shut the fuck up. There we go. That's how you're going to close <laughs> deals. But I, I don't want to waste any time. I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste our viewers' time. We're here to close some fucking deals. So, guys, this is the Speed to Lead platform. As you guys can tell, it looks beautiful. This is how it works. You come on, right? There's this Leads tab right here on the left-hand side. You come in. You click that. It brings you to the marketplace. And today, we are just going to be picking and choosing which ones we want to buy. They have to be sales status. They have to be more than two days old because we don't want you know, we don't want to be stealing opportunities from you. But one of them caught our eye, right? Nobody bought this one because it was too expensive for them, right? They didn't want to take the risk, which is just confusing in my opinion. Look at this. It is in San Antonio, Texas, right? They're selling because of financial reasons. The property's in good condition. Paint inside, landscaping. It's owner-occupied. They want to sell ASAP. They own the property. They've owned it for two to five years, and they're behind on their mortgage. Look at this. Look at this. It's a three bed, two and a half bathroom. Look at that. So we're just going to buy it. Look at this. It's this easy. You come in, you click pay, cha-ching. We go to our leads list. And then as you can see right here, here it is. If I click this, you guys would all get the uh, get to see it. So, so can't do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that off the screen. I'm going to send the information over to RJ now. And he's just going to dial him up, get a closing done. Got yeah, Mr. Corey.
So this is going to be fun because I'm going to get to actually choose some of the leads that we go through. Also kind of showcase how uh, how we kind of decide which ones we're going to purchase and which ones we're not and the reason why. So, all right, Corey. Corey's who we're calling here. <laughs> Joseph says, RJ could watch you all day, no homo. <laughs> Text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Hey, Corey, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property on Begonia Bend. Um, you had entered it on my website saying that you're looking to sell. Give me a call back at 817-710-8689. Thank you. All right, I'm going to try one of the, the first additional numbers just to see. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, so for every lead that you buy, we provide as many numbers as we can. We run it through batch skip tracing. Um, oh, you guys where are do you get it from? Batch skip tracing. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Use code right. RJ Bates or Titanium at checkout so we can get his commission. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, no answers there. Um, all right, let's go back to the platform and decide on the next one here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Any of these you like in Clayton, North Carolina? I've got one in Charlotte, North Carolina. So the main thing that I'm looking for is, is I'm always going to the size of the city first, then the motivation, and then the condition, right? Um, so that ideally, that's what I want to get is something that's in poor condition, and, and there's a motivation, and then an area in which we could sell. So like this Paradise, Texas, I also want to make sure that they own the property. Um, and it's a vacant, non-occupied house, fair condition, and it's vacant. They want to sell ASAP. So I think this would be the next one for me. This Paradise, Texas? Yeah. Got it coming. Look at that. Cha ching Leads list. And we Take got basic screen. CRM Take features too. Screen. Don't worry, they can't see it yet. <laughs> we got Miss Janine. Um, Scotty, unfortunately, I am not going to be in the Dominican Republic this weekend. Um, we are under contract on a, a large commercial project, and we're right in the middle of our due diligence period. So... Um, we're not going to be able to make the uh, investor lift cartel, whatever we're calling that, destination mastermind. Janine? Janine. What did you guys have going on in Putacana? Was that the uh, the uh, investor lift meet? Nice. Automatic voice message system nine four zero three eight nine nine seven four two is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey Janine, this is R.J. Bates calling you about your property there in Paradise, Texas. Um, you had entered it on our website saying that you were looking to sell that property. If you could, give me a call back at 817-710-8689. Thank you. Uh, I think Kip asked about the, the California properties. Um, Kip, no, these are good leads, man. 
um, the, the lead that you actually went out to in Bakersfield came from speed the lead. Um, we're still trying to get that thing closed. I actually need to follow up with Justin on that. They okay. What are you looking at now? St. Joseph, Missouri. Look at this. Poor condition. Needs to sell ASAP. They've owned it for 20, 29 years. Not listed. Zero orders. He says in Missouri? Yeah. Look at that. We can come in. We can search St. Joseph, Missouri. I mean, that one right there, that's a that's a no-brainer for me. Let's run it. Cha-ching. Look at that, guy. Is That easy. You're going to get the leads. You're going to get the data. You're going to get a closing. All right. I'm sending it your way. Bow. There you go. What's up, Mr. Larry? We're doing well. Jordan? What's up, boss? Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Eight, one, six, Two. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Eight, one, six, two, four, eight, three, one, zero. Is not available. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Good. Man, what a bummer. I want to get some closings happening. It's okay. We're going to get some callbacks. That we will. Your offer is too good to refuse. All right, <laughs> what are you looking at now? What are we looking at? Uh, the very next one's a good one. Yeah. Oklahoma, financial reasons, fair condition, it has foundation problems, bathroom needs work. You said the McAllister, Oklahoma? Yeah, the, the very next one. I, that's the one I was looking at, yeah. So, you guys, if you're looking at this, right, we've got m the seller motivation, financial reasons, the property, they say it's in fair condition. Yeah, okay, come on. Foundation problems, bathrooms, paint, flooring, cabinets, air conditioning, probably the roof and a bunch of other stuff, too. They own the property for two to five years. It's a three bed, one and a half bath. And all this extra stuff on the right, this is what you get by having speed to lead premium. Look at that. Just buy, pay, done, go to your leads list, and then you open the information up. But you guys don't get to see it because then you guys would get the lead. RJ would still close it over you guys. Confident in that. So right here, Jeremy says, hey, am I buying leads from Liam's website? So I'm buying the leads from Speed Lead, okay? And that's ispeedlead.com, okay? The... You said you've never seen someone pay a couple hundred dollars for a lead. This oh, is a warm generated. <laughs> you just busted it. Yeah, in. I did. Oh, yeah. Jeremy, I need to call this one quick. Work. Yeah, yeah, put the number in. Go, go, go. Run it, run it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, dude. I saw myself do that and I was like, uh oh. Hey, y'all be cool, okay? Don't, don't be calling <laughs> this guy. Yeah, don't call him, please, guys. Please. Oh, man. That's funny. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Don Ransom is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Don, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property on Van Buren. Um, you had entered it on my website saying that you're looking to sell. Give me a call back at 
710-8689. Appreciate you. To answer, yeah. this, and to, and to answer this guy's question just a little bit more. So I've never seen someone pay a, a couple hundred dollars for a lead. There's a huge difference between outbound prospecting and inbound leads, right? So if you're considering just somebody's information, that's a prospect, right? You don't have any motivation to sell, right? And even when you do get their motivation to sell, it's loose because you're reaching out to them. They didn't plant that idea themselves. These leads are inbound, meaning that they raised their hand, they typed into Google, I want a cash offer on my home, they filled out our form, and they got put on our website to get connected with an investor like you. Now, if you're running your own Google ad campaigns, these prices are very comparable, right? You're going to be paying a very similar price if you're running the ad campaign. Pretty much what we're doing is we are footing the bill for all the ad campaigns, and then you have the freedom of choice to come in, pick and choose which ones you would want to buy, which ones you don't want to buy. And then, of course, there's guarantees. We guarantee it's off market. We guarantee a wholesaler doesn't have it under contract. We guarantee that you are going to be getting the correct information for the uh, for the seller. So you have a lot of insurance built into that, too. Yes. All right. So the next one I see here is in New Marlboro, Massachusetts. It's the very next one. This is three in a row that legitimately, if I was buying here, I would just be going straight down and saying, yeah, this, this is the one emergency <laughs> reasons, fair condition, um, close enough to Springfield. They want to sell ASAP. They own it. Let's do it. Holy shit. Why is nobody buying these? That's crazy. That's what, that's what I'm saying. I mean, on some of these, I think it partially it's due to certain parts of the, the country. I oh, just okay. think some of the outreach hasn't gotten to those locations, you know, cause you will see certain areas, those leads are getting bought up, um, but maybe places in the Northeast, um, some places even in like the, the Northwest, uh, they're not getting bought up as quickly. So I think that's just part of it. I have a good feeling about this. This is going to be the one. I do too. This is it. West or East Coast. So it's a little bit later there. He's, a, he's probably going to be driving home from work right now. That's what I'm going with. Not a bad time to catch him. Chris Kelly, what's up, boss? To an automatic voice message. <laughs> Instantly denied. That means he's there. Something's weird about this. It's not ringing immediately. It's like his phone's not on or something. Yeah, that is weird, right? There's that delay. Forwarded to weird. an automatic voice message system. Four one three four two nine seven nine five four is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, this is RJ Bates calling about your property at Two Shun Pike Road. Um, you had entered it on our website saying that you're looking to sell that property. If you could give me a call back at 817-710-8689. Again, that's 817-710-8689. Thank you. Where are we looking right. next? Just tell me where to go and I will let you know. So we got a first buyer hold next there in Greenwood, Missouri. Right, I'm going to go to the second page. Okay, um, Mineral Wells, Texas. We got relocating, poor condition, owner occupied. They've owned it for 10 to 14 years. Zero orders placed on this. Mineral Wells, Texas. Here we go. Look at that. Yep. They're relocating. They said they said that their property is in poor condition. Foundation problems, flooring, paint outside, close enough to Dallas. Look at this. 
We got Nick in here quoting Carlos Reyes. RJ is the greatest closer in all of real estate. Quoted by Carlos E. Reyes. Did he really say that? It's there. It's on the internet. What are you talking about? Yes, he said it. Oh, there we go. It's, he learned his lesson when he voted against me in 2020. Was that that what? That, that, that one bias vote where he voted for his, uh, what was it, business partner or something? His brother-in-law slash head of acquisitions. <laughs> That's a little biased. Why was he allowed to judge that panel? It's a solid question, Liam. You should ask the closer of Olympics. Reaching out right now. Your call has been forwarded to... Answer the phone! 940452... I'm calling you back. You're, you're going to answer the damn phone. Just triple dial on him. Force him to answer. Hi, is Ramon there? Hey, Ramon, this is uh, RJ Bates calling you about your property on 2nd Avenue. Um, you had entered it on my website saying you're looking to sell that property. Are you still looking to sell? Yeah, but it's going to be maybe... I'm trying to get one built uh, two blocks away from it, and uh, the contracts are still trying to gather up everything. Okay. So as soon as I get to move into the new one, it's going to go up for sale. Okay. Um, how much are you going to be asking for it? Uh, I have no idea yet. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I know you had entered it on our website, so I know you that you were curious about, you know, getting an offer on the property. Are you still looking to do that? Yeah. Have you all looked at it? Well, I, I have a little bit of information, just what you gave us there on the on the website. But that's why I was calling you just to see, you know, if you had an asking price in mind, a timeline. I mean, I don't care if you need more time. I mean, if, if you need six months, a year, 18 months, that doesn't matter to me. Um, I just yeah. want to get some information from you and see if it's going to be a good fit for us. Yeah. Yeah, just let me call you back later, uh, maybe tomorrow. Right now, I'm in the middle of something. Okay. What time tomorrow? Oh, probably about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Sound good? Yeah, I'll call you then. All right, bye bye. His house is in poor condition and not be motivated. It says ASAP on that. Yeah, he says he's building a house, though. That's interesting. Couldn't repair this one? It does say it has foundation problems. I don't know, that's weird. It is he a actually, bit of a unique yeah, situation. Yeah, that's a ASAP. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and we might be getting a call back. Uh oh, there we go. Lock it in, lock it in. Hello, this is RJ. Hello, this is RJ. Hey, RJ. Hi, my name is Don Ransom. I just had this call from y'all. Yes, sir. I was calling you about your property on Van Buren. Um, you had entered it on our website saying you were looking to sell that property? Correct. Awesome. How much are you looking to get for that property? Well, so we're renting it on. Um, they told me if I find a buyer that they would sign off on it and take what I have with them, and then give us the rest. Okay. So if that's something you guys can work around, then that's, we can talk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, possibly. Um, I mean, how much are you looking to, to net out of it? Uh, I just want to be able to pay them and potentially walk away at 20, so, um, wherever to keep ourselves so we can right. move out of town. So 20K to you, and how much to them? About 50. Okay, so 70 total? Yeah. All right. And talk to me about the condition. How? What does the property look like? So it's fair to decent. Um, it needs to be leveled. Uh, we live in that area. I mean, you're down in Texas. I would 
I'm assuming from the phone number, so you know how the weather is. Oh, yeah. So the house settles, and we we down the road from ammunition base, so they blow a lot of crap up. So gotcha. all that vibration, it settles oddly. <laughs> and so we had a company come out and look at front of the house, and they say the beams are good. It's just some of the pillars that support the beams need to be replaced. And the, um, we're going to call the house side where the house sits on. They want to fix some of that, not every piece, but by half of it. Okay. The roof is good condition. Um, obviously, probably won't remodel the kitchen with the cabinets. And uh, they put cheap linoleum floor down before we moved in, so I'd probably remove that crap. <laughs> right. But there's brand new carpet in there. We just got the HVAC fixed. Um, that runs as it should, turns on, shuts off, blows cold, blows hot. Okay. Um, bathrooms probably need what we planned on putting newer stuff in there, but they probably need to be remodeled. Not probably, but do need to be remodeled. Gotcha. Um, the yard, I started putting up a privacy fence, but we had a second kid and with two kids and both of us working. Kind of halted on that, just time-wise. But other than that, I, there's a garage on it. It's older garage, but it's probably best to tear that thing down. Okay. So it's on, I think it's probably, it's less than an acre. It's on a corner lot. So I'm not sure what else, uh, what other information you'd want. Yeah, I'm just looking at some of the property values around the area. Yeah. Um, I see there's one comp that kind of gives me hope that there's something I could do there. Um, I see a property on 314 East Monroe. That sold for 135 and it looked like it was remodeled. Like someone came in yeah. and, and remodeled it. Is that on the corner? Uh, let me look real quick. Uh, the two houses. No, that's uh, that's smack dab in the middle of the street. Okay. Uh, there's a, I don't know if they rented or sold the house down the road from us. The two of them actually sold. One's just a smaller house like ours. Another one was a two-story house. I'm not sure what they sold for the. Right. So the, the one that sold for 135 is like the only one that sold for that high of a value. Yeah. That way that remodeled and done right. Yeah. I mean, are there, are there, are you familiar with other remodeled houses in the area or is that like the only one around you? Not for price, not how much they sold. There's, like I said, there's one, um, two streets down that was, I, I know they remodeled it. They went in and you just tell they got it. Yeah, and redid the whole thing. Um, I think that's the one on Monroe. Is that the one? You, what street you're talking about? Two streets over. No, this one's two streets over on the corner. Okay. I like to add a stop sign, main exit where my house is. Gotcha. So I mean, we we could even look at it like we really want to get away just because we pay eight thousand dollars every tax season. Right. So that's it. <laughs> But we could use eight grand elsewhere. So how's that working right now? Like, did you give them a down payment and then you're paying a monthly, or what? Do you... So we bought the house or and bought the buying the house. We started three years ago with ten thousand down, and two payments of eight thousand, so sixteen. And we pay them every month uh, about like seven twenty, but that's including um, one hundred twenty dollars for taxes. Well, not taxes, but uh, taxes and insurance are the carry on the house. Okay. So that's that's our payment to them. Gotcha. So I mean, tw and was it 2025, 2026 is when we would actually fully own the house. I see. Okay. And, and 50, that's a hard number for them, right? Yeah, that's a unless I go and give them eight more thousand dollars, which is trying to <laughs> right. try and stop that. <laughs> but if we're willing to work from that 70, just because we want that, we want to get away, but we need to make sure we have like 
ten or fifteen thousand to go and buy a house or something like that so that we can move out of town. Right. Let me look at this real quick. If you if you could put a dollar amount on what you think repairs need to be done to the property, what would you think? Uh, if you go with people that are honest and aren't trying to rip homeowners off. <laughs> right. I'd probably say like fifteen to eighteen thousand. Because we had uh, the, we had two no three separate estimates for the leveling of the house, and one was a big company out of the city. And they just want to come in and do every single thing that they, you know, they think you're stupid. Right. They want to come in and replace beams all the way down, all of them, which we were told not all need replaced. Right. And they want to dig away from the house, put in a barrier of that rubber or liner to push the water away from the house, then fill it with gravel, then come in and fill on top of gravel with dirt and do a slope away from the house to prevent that. And they quoted all that work at like 12,000. So that was 12,000. What was the, uh, the other bid? There was eight. Cause they weren't going to do, they said between five and eight cause they were just going to the house. They said the pillars are what some of them are falling down. That's causing it. And then the leveling from the weather and the water, and they would fix the, um, they call them some like sheeting or what you want to call it, that the house actually, exterior the house sits on. They would fix that too in the pillars. They weren't talking about digging away, laying anything down. They were talking about that. And then a gutter system to keep the water away from the house. Okay. So that's what they were talking about. <clears throat> the very company like, oh, yeah, we can go do this, this and that, and this and that. How long do you have before you have to give them the eight grand? No, oh, as soon as we have them, when we get our taxes in, so like two or three weeks. Okay. And if I have to, okay, I'll do it. But. But if you give them eight grand, your price goes down to forty-two grand. Yeah, I think those are um, rough numbers. I know it's around there. Gotcha. Um, but I'm just saying, let's say it's eight. It goes from fifty to forty-two. Yeah. Right. Okay. So here's here's my offer to you. Okay. If you really want to be done with this, then I can help you solve that problem. I can I can get this house out of your hands. I personally am not interested in owning a property in McAllister, Oklahoma, myself, though. Yeah. Um, I just, I mean, I just, I'm not so, but you came to us and you said, Hey, here's my situation. And, and I appreciate you being transparent with that situation. Uh, the first ever home I ever bought myself was a, a rent to own. And, and I also, okay. I got squeezed in that deal. So yeah, I, <laughs> I, I feel your pain. So I, I want to help you in that situation. So here's my offer. Okay. Why don't we come to an agreement of, okay, we're going to pay the 50 grand to the original seller. That's just what I'm going to call them, the original seller. Okay? okay. I have access to the largest buyers list out there. Okay. So I'm going to look this up okay. real quick. Uh, McAllister. One second. I'll be there. So inside of my system, I'm looking up how many cash buyers I have inside of McAllister. Give it two seconds to update. Okay. He wants me in the office. I'll be up there in a second. Well, while that's thinking about how many. Okay. So I have 41 known buyers just in that city. Okay. Not, not the county, not outside of it, just inside of that city, okay? What I would suggest is you and I split whatever we make over the 50000 but I have to get your approval before I sign off and sell it to someone. So if I go out and I sell it for $100,000, we are splitting fifty grand. If I sell it for $60,000, we are splitting ten grand. But... 
you're you're gonna have a final approval to say yeah i'm cool with that let's do it so it's basically a joint venture agreement between me and you and the value that i'm bringing to you is this is what i do all day every day is i go yeah, out you want to sell the most because you want to get the most you can't do it so. correct so i'm going to go out there and and essentially wholesale the property is what it's called um and and basically my my thought is is we could tell the cash buyers in the area well there's a comp two streets over fully remodeled sold for 135 come in here put you know somewhere in the range of 20 to twenty five thousand dollars it'll look just like that property you sell it for 135 see what we can get we're going to get offers we're going to get feedback from buyers very quickly probably take somewhere in the range of seven to ten days as long as we have good photos from you of the interior um it'll yeah. probably be minimal showings and and then we'll be able to come to an agreement and say hey here's where all of the investors okay. in this area say and from there we just make a decision of we want to go with it or not yeah um can i see your number talk to my wife and are you there all day today um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to probably be here for another couple of hours. Okay. Cause I got to talk to her real quick. Cause I'm right. still at work. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I will save your number and I'll talk to her and I'll give you a call right when I get home. Okay. Sounds good. I appreciate you. Know. All right, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Good pitch into like the clear wholesale. Yeah. And and I think he's probably going to do it because I, I don't really know if he has many options. I mean, he's in a weird situation where yep. he's got to uh, bring that eight grand here in a couple of weeks, right? It sounds like he really doesn't want to do that. We could have an offer on the table before then, and uh, he gets to walk away with cash in his pocket. He doesn't really have to do anything from here on out. Not a bad deal I, at all. I think it's a good solution for him, so I look forward to it. Hopefully he calls back while we're still on the show. Brittany, we didn't get any other calls, did we? Uh -huh. All right. Was I picking out a lead? I think I was. I think you were. Um, I like this Glendale, Arizona one. Ooh, Glendale, Arizona. Um, no, hold on. Let's show it because this is the reason why I would personally not buy this one. Okay um seller did not leave the number numbers provided by batch skip tracing 33 percent discount from original price so lead speed lead is saying they'll discount it but for me personally because i'm nationwide i'm not hot to trot on needing to buy this lead in glendara arizona if i was solely in arizona i would buy this so my my opinion is is i'm gonna move on to save my budget on something that i'm more firm on uh, but if this was solely my area then that, yes i would definitely purchase that because it's in foreclosure and they're behind on the mortgage got two orders on that one yep what else are you looking at boss Here we go. We got uh, financial reasons. Good condition, but the roof needs replaced. Bathroom Where is needs it? Work. Uh, Childersburg, Alabama. No orders. Looks like it's outside of Birmingham. Well, it's way outside. Let me hold on. Let me look up that area real quick and see if I have buyers there. And what platform are you using to look up buyers? Um, InvestorLift. Do you recommend people get InvestorLift? Uh, yeah, I mean, for this right here, I have one buyer. So on something that would otherwise look like a good lead, 49,000 people in the county, for me, it just alleviates the pressure of making that decision. And it just says, okay, I, I can find something better for me personally. So I'm going to pass on that one. Cool. Um, it also helps us move properties extremely quick. I can imagine. Yeah. Corey says, so multiple people can purchase the same lead. Corey, I'll show you here. Let's say a lead is brand new. It's just been generated. Okay. 
This one here in Dothan, Alabama. It's new. This means nobody's bought it yet. It has zero orders. Okay? Now, what you can do is you can click buy lead. You get three options, right? Your exclusivity window. You can have it exclusive for one hour, 48 hours, or 100% exclusive forever, right? If you choose the 100% exclusive, nobody else buys it. Otherwise, um, otherwise, then it will be relisted once that time frames run out. So we got a question. It says, do you host a showing when dispoing your deals? Do your buyers need to submit a written or verbal offer before coming to the showing? Or do you allow all buyers to come? What's your process look like? <clears throat> so um, we all buyers have to be vetted before they could come to a showing. Um, we do not have one massive showing. We mainly have individual showings and they have to provide an offer through our website, which is hosted by InvestorLift, which means they have to place the amount, the proof of funds, and then they also have to decide um, uh, the earnest money deposit that they're willing to put down. Uh, we put a minimum on there. And so that's how they submit their offers to us. From there, it, uh, once it's accepted through the system, it automatically sends them the DocuSign assignment. That's all done inside of Investor Lift. All right, so I'm going to the third page here on um, the sell leads. Um, I want. I don't know how to pronounce this. It, it, <laughs> Yip, Yipsilanti, Michigan. Let's see. Um, there was a death in the family. I think that would give me an opportunity to show something I don't normally show. So let's uh, let's do that one. I don't know how to say that either. Why is it so cheap? Um, it's listed. Eastern, Eastern Mich oh, it's listed. No, nope, don't want to do that. Hardcore pass for me. That is a bummer. We got this one in Detroit. Tired of being a landlord. Paint inside, paint outside. It's no mortgage. Um, I'm faded. down. Cool. Let's do it. We got Connie. Chris says uh, that city in Michigan was his, his his area. Did I pronounce it correctly? Ypsilanti? I do know that is home of the uh, Eastern Michigan Eagles. I didn't copy the full phone number first time I did it. I just put it in. Just Ypsilanti. Got it. What is this, uh, guys? The number you have reached has been disconnected. Oh, there's those financial reasons, Liam. There's those financial reasons right there. <laughs> Jeez. So in this circumstance, do we, we get an email on most of these, correct? Yeah, yep. So we got an email. Um, with this one, this one, she did not provide a phone number. So this was just additional phone numbers provided by Batch. Gotcha. Okay, uh, the next one was Bassett, Virginia. Ooh, we're going east. All right. Bassett, Virginia. Here we go. Death in the family, inherited property, bathrooms need work, paint, landscaping, plumbing, flooring, kitchen cabinets. It's vacant. They want to sell ASAP. They've owned it 30 to 50 years. There's no mortgage. Ooh. Wow. That's a deal. What I want to know is, is, is anyone watching live on Twitter? Yeah. Well, you can actually check. No, it's, it's not showing it up there. Oh yeah. Interesting. It doesn't show LinkedIn either. So it only will show us who's watching on Facebook and YouTube. 
doesn't show us about LinkedIn or Twitter. We're trying those out. There you go. The person you're calling isn't accepting messages right now. Why don't you text them or try calling again later? Thank you for calling U.S. Cellular Voice. You're right. I Let's should call try again calling. later right now. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Scotty says I'll head over to Twitter to boost the algorithm. There we go. <laughs> I don't even know if I have Twitter. I don't. I just want to know what it looks like. The person you're calling isn't accepting. Like, I didn't know they did live videos like that on Twitter. Yeah, I didn't either. So, okay, you bought the Detroit one. We got That's Roxy sweet. saying live on YouTube. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Ooh. No, don't like that one. I did for a second. Um, how about New Florence, Pennsylvania? I like that one. I like it. All right. New Florence, Pennsylvania. Wow, selling a vacant, non-occupied house. Roof needs replacement. Boiler water heater, kitchen cabinets, kitchen appliances. It is vacant. They want to sell ASAP. There's no mortgage. Cha-ching. There we go. How will Twitter's functionality change that old Elon bought it? Uh, hopefully, it just allows us to say whatever we want to say. I don't really use Twitter that much. Yeah, what do you want to say on Twitter? That's what I'm interested in. I don't know. Hi, guys. RJ Bates here, TikTok star. I don't really like the platform. I think it's the worst platform out of all of them. I've never used it either. Hey, is Nathan there? This is Nathan. Hey, Nathan, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property there in New Florence. Um, you had entered it on a website saying you're looking to sell? Yeah, well, it's already under contract, Bubba. Oh, man, somebody beat me to it, huh? Yeah. How much they give you for that? 41. 41, and you've already signed the paper? Pretty much. Why? What would you do? Uh-oh. Maybe, maybe I want to do more than 41. I don't know. Let me look. Doesn't sound like it's a done deal. If I said I want to give you more, could you sign a contract with me? Or are you under contract with somebody else? I'm under contract with someone else at the present moment. Ah, dang it. Okay. Well, I can't I can't go around them. I, I ain't gonna do that. I, I'd I'd beat them to the punch if you weren't under contract, but if you're under contract with them, I gotta respect that. Yeah, I understand. Well, I had the how'd you get in touch with them? I got gotcha. you. So they they just cold called you. Well, I mean, I put it, I put some stuff on the internet, you know, about wanting to sell it and everything, and they were one of the ones that contacted me. I got gotcha. you. 
Okay. Well, I uh, I do appreciate your time there. Um, I if it doesn't work out, this is my phone number. Um, please save it and and give me a call back and let me know if they're not able to perform because I would be very interested in your property and and I think I could give you a comparable price to that. What's your name? My name is R.J. Bates. R.J. Bates. Where in Texas are you? I live in Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth, Cowtown. Cowtown, yes, sir. Where we are proud of cow shit sitting on our streets. <laughs> I understand. Yes, sir. I'm texting myself. What part? Raised in a little town called Grosbeck near Waco. Oh, yeah. I know, I know Grosbeck. Yeah, and I spent time up in Dallas helping to build some of them high rises up there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah.
bathrooms, paint, boiler, water heater, electrical, plumbing, flooring, kitchen cabinets, kitchen appliances, paint outside, air conditioning. It is vacant. They want to sell ASAP. There's no mortgage. And it's not listed. And they own the property. Hoo -hoo. There's a deal. Let's do it. And you know this guy's old too because he typed everything in all caps. <laughs> he could just be the lead singer of Disturbed. Oh, there you go. Did you hear Cassie's? Yeah, so we could hear the, the bat screech from the background. That, that was impressive. It actually was pretty on key. That wasn't bad. That wasn't I bad. know. Boy, Andrew's going to yell at me. Hey. Hello. This is Andy. Nah, got me. Leave a message. Yep. Right. Bye. <laughs> At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To send a fax, press 4 now. To leave a callback number, press 5. Damn it, Andy. Your voicemail got me. I thought we were talking. But, nope. I was talking to myself. Um, I'm calling to buy your house in Clifton Forge. You uh, you put it on my website, and it uh, looks like you need to get rid of it ASAP, and I want to buy it ASAP. So give me a call back, 817-710-8689. Appreciate you. Well, that ain't a bad deal. Yeah, I told you the guy was old. Hello. This Got is Andy. Me. Who are you calling now? Hello? Is Andy there? Andy, this is RJ Bates calling about your property in Clifton Forge. This is who? This is RJ Bates. You had, okay. you, had entered, you had entered your property on our website saying you were looking to sell it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. How much are you looking to get for that property? How much are you looking to get for that property? I don't know. What, what, what's your offer? Well, I'm going to need to know a little bit about the property. Uh, can you tell me what's going on with it? I, I texted somebody all day uh, yesterday. Well, that, that, was, that wasn't me. I, I don't know who that was. Um, it was entered on my website, cash offer option. You entered it on April 24th at 9.03 a.m. All right, well, somebody's selling uh, Hey, what's the address? Somebody was texting me all day yesterday. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to, to buy the property, so are, are you wanting to sell the property? Okay. They didn't enter it. Do you do you wanna do you wanna talk about the property? Okay. What is, what what are your questions? Well, it says it's vacant and it needs quite a bit of repairs. So I just kind of want a, a little bit of background about the property and what's going been going on with it. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure I'll have 10 calls. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm listening here. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I don't know if you heard me or not, but I, I, it says the property's been vacant for a while and it needs a lot of repairs. I just kind of wanted to get an idea of what's been going on with the property so I could kind of assess what I would need to do to the property so I can make you an offer. What, what did you need to know? Well, 
you you said the property needs quite a bit of repairs and it's been vacant so i would need to know what's been going on with the property like can you give me a background of why it's vacant how long it's been vacant what repairs need to be done just living in there uh he went to a retirement home i think okay is it your property to sell or is it somebody else's yes my property okay so the person that was living there was that a tenant why, why does that matter who was living there what, is, what does it matter if they were a tenant or not what does it matter i don't well if you were gonna stroke a check for you know tens of thousands of dollars would you want to know a little bit of background about what you're buying yeah but i mean who lives in there it doesn't doesn't really matter are we going to talk about the house or who was living there that doesn't make any sense just trying to get a, an understanding of what's going on with the property it sounds to me like you're not that motivated to sell the property and that's okay if you aren't i i just was under the impression that you were so if you if you don't want to talk to me we don't have to talk very good. And that right there was the pull away method and him accepting the pull away. Was that a guy or a girl? That was a good question. I assumed a man, but I don't know. Oh, that, that was one. that was like working through molasses. What was that? I need to know about your property so that I'm able to make an offer. Dude, so what okay. do you need to know? I want to go back here. This was bathrooms need work, paint inside, boiler, water heater, electrical, plumbing, flooring, kitchen cabinets, kitchen appliances, paint outside, air conditioning. It's been vacant for, he thinks, four to five years, and he thinks the person lived there, <laughs> went to a retirement home. I'm like, uh, and then... I, when I pulled up the property, this scared me even more. So the estimated value was sixty-one thousand, and then when I pulled <laughs> up comps around it, it was somewhere in the range of thirty to forty thousand. So I was. Mm. That one was not no bueno. I That's not, not a deal. I did not enjoy that. <laughs> Uh, I think that, you know, one thing that you do particularly well is those takeaways, though. If the person on the other line is receptive at all, you can say, we don't have to talk. And they're going to be, oh, oh, okay. Right. Well, I mean, you could hear him. I don't know if y'all could make it out or not, but there was a moment in the conversation where he was obviously talking to someone in the background and said, yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of calls. You know, they were more worried about the fact that the, the information was being sold is is the sound of it. Uh, they're more worried about the fact that they're going to get multiple phone calls, which unfortunately for them, what they don't know is, is that this lead's been available for three days and not one person bought it. So they're probably not going to be getting a lot of uh, phone calls. All right. Um, let's move on. I, that one irritated me. Now I have to go close the deal. You're right. You know, you got to. That one irritated me. I was like, I hang up on them. This person's annoying. All right. I don't understand those kind of scenarios, to be honest with you. Um, well, usually people who are super organized and on the ball and really smart don't get in situations like the one that they described. Yeah, I mean... All right, let's see here. Next one, Buxton, North Carolina. Ooh, we got North Carolina, let's see. Buxton, all right, what do we got here? They're selling for financial reasons, death in the family, properties in fair condition, repairs, paint inside, kitchen cabinets, paint outside, air conditioning, tenant occupied okay they're up to hold date on. on the mortgage hold on liam we might be getting a call back cool uh it was probably rj i can just yeah let's do it okay hold on one second go 
through? Hello, this is RJ. Hey, RJ, this is John Ransom again. Yes, sir. A while ago. Yes, sir. Um, so I talked to my wife. I had to call her before I left work. And her main concern is um, who's going to own the house. Watch y'all do pay the old owners off. And she's worried about, like you said, before you sell it, we have final status. So she's worried about what kind of paperwork or what kind of uh, agreement that will be under. Well, and I, I appreciate that question. I think what would need to happen there is, is I need an understanding of what paperwork you have with the seller. Once I pay uh, the paperwork, it's like it's a deed. Right. Real contract, pay X amount every uh, month, and 8,000 balloon payments was called. And once all that's done, I'll get the deed in my name, and they'll sign the house over to me once gotcha. the final payment is made. So, I have a payment sheet of exactly how much in interest that the payments go towards and all that stuff. Gotcha. And you also have an agreement with them that – you can go sell the property, correct? Yeah, if I want to, I can go get the, um, only thing I can do is get a agent because the agent requires um, the house to be in my name. Right. So they can't list it as me selling, they have to go to the original owner. Um, but yeah, I can put a sign in my yard saying for we'll sale. Gotcha, and okay. come up and say, hey, and then I just gotta pay him whatever I will. So what we could do is I could send you over a purchase agreement for just call it 50,000 and then in the special provisions of the contract we would write out um you know you and your wife to get 50% of any and all of the proceeds above 50,000 and then my company, Titanium Investments, to get fifty percent of all of the proceeds over fifty thousand. Yeah. And there you go. It would just be a normal purchase and sell agreement. We would open up title, and everything runs through a title company and everything. Yeah. So I think what her more concerned is um, not saying you know someone would do this or some people might. I don't know. Right. Um, yeah. Once you pay. Break the owner original fifty thousand is like what stop you from just saying hey well the house is ours so yeah that's what she's more about than anything you're you're talking about the original sellers no um, your investment company right you write out where wherever you all sell the house for X amount but right you worry about coming in like well we just bought the house so we need you guys to move out oh no 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 because it's going to you're selling me the house. And we're going to close through a title company and the title company is going to disperse the funds. So there's no way for me to buy the house out from underneath you. Okay. So to do the 50,000, you would pay him off the original owners and they would send the title over to me. Then we would be in agreement to sell the house for whatever. Right. And then, okay. So that's okay. That's what, hey buddy. Um, and obviously, I know you guys you want the most money you can for the house. Right. Because you guys, you, you don't want to make, someone's asking me, she's asking me, well, what's stopping her from selling for 65000 Like, this guy's not going to waste time for all this for five to 10000 He's going to want to sell it for eighty, ninety, probably $100,000. So well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. There's a there's a chance that that could happen. And, and yeah. I mean, we're, we're just going to come back. And what we're going to say is, is, hey, the offers that we received were, you know, 80,000, 70,000, 60,000. What do you guys want to do? Yeah. You know, this is this is what all the investors in this area are willing to pay. And that's essentially the position that you're in. And, and what you kind of have to do is sell it to an investor. Yeah. yeah. So. But I, I, know that's, I know that's a chance that if they all come back with the same numbers, um, so, I mean, uh, yeah, if you guys want to send over some paperwork, so we look at it before uh, we make a final decision, because I know she has 50% say in this case, so I just can't sign right. paperwork, because <laughs> then I'd be single and look for uh, <laughs> I feel you. I, I, I'll also, I'll make you guys feel a little bit better, okay? This is kind of a unique situation. I'm actually the owner of the company. 
Um, and, and so you can actually look me up online. Just Google my name, RJ Bates the third. You'll see YouTube videos. I'm on all social media. Um, it'll make you feel a little bit better that I'm very much out there um, where you will be able to learn who my company is, who I am. Um, you're, you're not going to feel like uh, you're dealing with someone that is, you know, you don't, you can't find them anywhere online. And is this even a real deal? You know, I'm, I'm very much out there in the public. So you can see that me and my company, we're a reputable company. We've been doing this for a while. I personally have been in business for myself going on 11 years now, um, full-time in specifically single family real estate since 2015. Um, so, you know, I, I've bought and sold a little bit over a thousand properties in those seven years. So, you yeah, I'm sure you heard these concerns before too. So. <laughs> absolutely, and, and that's part of the reason why I put myself out there for people to see that hey, yeah. I'm, I'm actually doing this. And if I were putting myself out there and screwing people over, I mean, it's pretty easy. You could just go on. I have like oh, yeah. over 400 uh, videos on YouTube where you could just be going on each one of them saying this guy screwed me over. You know, so. <laughs> The, the only thing I got is I got a bad review on my uh, business because I sent a text message to a guy. He got mad and he said I was a scumbag for texting him. So you, you'll have to you have to look past that one, okay? No, I guess I was too old petty. I do I have one of the things as an uh, assistant manager and we go about, yeah, I didn't tell you to text me. Well, you, you signed up for it, not me. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I get that. Um, yeah, I think, so how long... So here's just another question that I might I have is so usually how long is the funds available and when you do sell the house how long does someone have to get out because we didn't think it'd be this fast we figured it take a month or two give us time to look at something yep and that's another concern of ours like oh this guy called me next day and talking about pet potentially right we got buying a house paying Marty off and like, that's, well, the beautiful thing about this is, is we can actually set the closing date for whatever we want. So if we wanted to say the closing date is going to be June 1st or June 30th or whatever we want it to be, that's between you and I to decide. And so, um, and, and as well as the end buyer, right? So the buyer is going to come along and say, you know, they might not want to wait 90 days, but they probably won't have a problem. To be honest with you, title right now in Oklahoma is is running a little bit slow anyways. Um, do you have the abstract on this property? That's so I'm down to my first house. What gotcha. Is well, Oklahoma is one of the very few states in, in our beautiful country that's still living in the Stone Age. And so um, <laughs> they have abstracts. Iowa is another state that has this. And it takes a while for them to, to process that if you don't have one. That usually takes about two weeks. Um, and then outside of that, you have your normal title work that they're going to have to do. So this probably, even if you said, yes, let's do this right now, we probably wouldn't even be able to close for 30 days just waiting on title to do their job. Gotcha. So I think the earliest we're going to close this would probably be about 45 days. Yeah, if we did it right away. Right. Uh, yeah, let me, so, uh, do you fax it? Not fax, but um, email the paper? Yeah, or so, send it out? yeah, so what we do is, is or have you ever uh, signed anything via DocuSign? No, not, no, only for my work. Gotcha. Years, but so basically what we do is, is we email over you and your wife, uh, a copy of the contract um, for both of you to review. You just click on the button, it opens it up, and then you can read through it. Um, if, if you want, you can call us, ask any questions. Um, I can walk you through that process. Um, I'm going to assume that you and her are probably going to want to look this over this evening and probably hop on another call tomorrow. Because this is, this is not a uh, normal purchase right this is a little bit of a unique situation um so i think what would be best is um we send over a template of what the contract's going to look like and then we actually can sit down when is a time that both you and your wife would be available for a phone call 
together? Both of us? Oh, boy. It's so... She has weekends off. I don't. I have Thursday and Friday off. She has she, like, she works Monday through Friday. Gotcha. Um, so if you guys are in the office after five o'clock, yep, uh, that's the only time. That's the only time we're together. Well, and we part. yeah, we can do it. Why don't we set it up for tomorrow? So then tonight, I can send you over the purchase agreement so you guys can look it over, okay. and then tomorrow night, why don't we call you? And we'll walk you through it and answer any questions. And we can also adjust anything that needs to be adjusted. And then that way, you guys can be ready to sign at that point once we get everything cleared away together. Yeah, let me, like, uh, right, let me go do that with her. I mean, you can send paperwork over. I just yep. want to go through that with her. And yep. she's done this more than I have. She's been married and had three houses before. So this is my first one. I got gotcha. you. Hold on one second for me. I'm going to text you from my um my cell phone because this is my office okay. line so what i'm going to do is is i need both yours and your wife's emails um and okay. i want you to text it over to me just so i i uh don't misspell something okay so give me two seconds so my name's the only my name's the only one on the house um, that's fine her email too or yeah i want both of y'all just to be able to okay. review it you know So we'll get to the whole thing tonight. So we got the four-year-old and three-year-old, which I know I don't know if you have kids or not, but I got a nine-year-old and a four-year-old. Just yeah, so you know how you try to do anything, yeah. like it's virtually impossible to do by yourself. <laughs> um, just so you know, the the contract is two pages long. It's it's oh, really? yeah, it's not 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 complicated. <laughs> and, it, Okay. Yeah, no, it, it is it is about as straightforward as possible. It's going to say, you are selling me this property for this much on this date. That's pretty much what it says. So, but yeah, I'll send that over to you. And then, uh, like I said, how about, it, it, would you guys be available at 6 o'clock tomorrow? Yeah, nothing that we know going on. Okay, why don't I call you tomorrow at 6 o'clock? And then we'll go through the contract together. So that'll give you a full 24 hours to look it over. And then I'll call you then and we can go through it together. Okay. That sounds good. Um, I can't make any promises if you definitely want to do it, but we'll definitely go through and talk to you and find out what's, you know, make her comfortable. Sounds good. I, I, I want to get rid of the house. I, yeah, I want to get out of town. <laughs> Understood. But, All right, Don. Well, I appreciate you calling me back. Tomorrow, you'll call for yourself or your office phone? Um, probably the office phone. Okay, I'm going to save that. So, is it the same number that I called or correct. I called earlier? Yep, correct. Okay, I'm going to save that so I know who it is. Okay, sounds good, Don. Appreciate right. you. Thank you, sir. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Kaboom, that's good as done. Oh, I'm glad he called back during the live. That was, that was good so everybody can kind of see that. All right. Um... We were on Buxton, North Carolina. We are on Buxton, North Carolina. I'm buying it. I'm sending you the information. Uh, hold on a second here. Why is the chat so quiet? I know, man. Nobody's talking. They hate like, us. You just got a contract locked. I I don't understand. I'm I'm like I'm. It might. Oh, you did it again, bro. You threw it in the chat. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, And it's an 817 phone number. I, I, I don't understand. Why is it so quiet in here, though? This is insane. Yeah, I dropped in the chat. Nobody's going to get it anyways. There's, uh, there's a lot of people watching. I just don't understand why. Like, come on. Where are they at? I'm not trying to toot my horn, but. That was that was good shit that just went to the place there. That's a TikTok right there. <laughs> exactly. Andy's <laughs> gonna be a good TikTok. You're right. Andy will probably get more views. Andy will get way more views. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Anna Cardio is not available. 
At the tone, that's not the name. When you have finished recording, you may what? hang up or press one for more options. Oh, here's some extra phone numbers. Hey, this is RJ Bates calling about your property there in Buxton. Give me a call back, 817-710-8689. Thank you. Yeah, let's, that's an 817 phone number. That was weird. Let's try this. Listen, Greg, what are you waiting on? You just go sign up. It's free to sign up right now, okay? Use promo code TITANIUM, all caps. It gives you $50 and a free credit. You can go in there and you can buy $50 worth of leads and start calling right now. Don't wait. Don't wait. Start doing it. I couldn't All have right. said it better myself. Thomas says I'm a very humble person. I appreciate I don't know about that. I appreciate that, Thomas. Yeah, that's kind words. Very. He's about to ask you for something. Buttering you up. I tried. I did not see where the promo goes. It goes in the, the box that says promo I'll show code. you where it goes. Just tell me a lead that you want to buy. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Let's see here. How about this one now? Well, uh, maybe. Albany, Georgia. Georgia, okay, and I said Albany, Albany, where is it? Here it is. Selling a vacant, non-occupied house. Structural problems, it's vacant, they want to sell ASAP, there's no mortgage, it's not listed. Look at that, so you buy it, right? Coupon code, click here, enter the coupon code. That's where it goes. Okay. Just double check to make sure I was putting that in the right spot. That's a that's a good idea. You should definitely do that for the remainder <laughs> of the show. Yeah, before I put somebody else on blast. All right. Gene, are you there watching, buddy? Gene isn't even talking. That's how you know. He uses two use these closings. Seriously. Recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. To leave a callback number, press five. Hi, this is RJ Bates calling about your property on West Gordon Avenue. Um, you had entered it on my website saying that you were looking to sell. If you could give me a call back at 817 710 8689. Thank you. All right, Liam, I'm going to try. Oh, wait. 
Um, I'm Mike going says, to... I'm curious, how many of these locked up deals are actually getting to the check cash stage versus not? RJ, what's your uh, what's your contract to close ratio? Well, um, unfortunately, as much as I would love to make money doing YouTube's and selling affiliate money of other stuff it doesn't pay the bills so the only way that i survive is by closing deals and uh with the tools that we're using i mean listen i've got i've got three main tools okay just being fully transparent batch speed to lead investor lift okay those are the three things that we're using um I have a great relationship with all three companies and it's enabled us to um, get better every single day that we do this. Um, right now, I can tell you two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. We have 16 assigned properties. Um, and then we've got another 24 in the dispo process. Okay, and then we've got another 10 or so in the recon phase. And our board consistently stays like that through our process. Um, do we have terminated properties? Yeah, we do. Uh, but a lot of that comes from the fact of that we're, we're purchasing these properties and we're putting them on a contract site unseen, right? And so, for example, we just terminated a property um, today where the seller told us, you know, it's a good condition. It needs a little bit of work, but when we went out there, the ceilings were falling through It needed to be rewired. Um, there was foundation problems. So from that aspect, yeah, we're terminating those. Um, but that's few and far between for the most part, we're able to, to get our properties to closing. That is a good answer. Who are you calling? The first lead we purchased. Might as well. Call rejected. Oh, you got blocked. Ah. Ah, call rejected. Dude, call him on another number. Get another line in there. Let's do it. You got one right here for you. Chris says, what do you use for boots on the ground to inspect? I think he's asking, what kind of boots you wear? But you wear Tim's. No, rejected. No, okay, so they just yeah. turn their phone that, off. That was a different phone that had never called them. Their phone must be up then. Call rejected. All right. So we're now moving to the next page of cell leads. Just tell me where to go. I'll get it typed in. Um, Baileyville, Maine. Maine. Baileyville. Here we go. Okay. Selling a vacant slash non-occupied house. Apparently it's in excellent condition, but there is no mortgage. We're going to see what I can do with this. Uh, Chris, we use uh, local photographers. Uh, we will use our own cash buyers. Uh, we will um, ask the sellers to send us um, photos. But a lot of times what we're going to do is we're going to get pictures, we're going to send buyers, um, and then we're going to get feedback from the buyers. All right. Recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. 
Julia, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property there on Airline Road. Um, you had entered it on our website saying that you were looking to sell that property. So if you could, give me a call back at 817-710-8689. Thank you. Well, that's pretty sweet. Uh, Lynchburg, Virginia. You know, Zero. you got upset. You got to have somebody else come in and upset you because you had uh, Andy upset you. You locked up a contract right in the next callback. I know. Uh, that's uh, that's my thing. I uh, I do better when I get upset. This is. Uh, this is why I start fake beefs with people in the real estate <laughs> industry. Well, you can't say they're fake. That's, that's true. It loses the appeal. You're like the uh, southern version of Conor McGregor. <laughs> Some would just call that Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> there you go. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Four, three, four, nine, four, one, eight, five, one, one is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Randy, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property there on Crane Hill. Um, if you could, give me a call back at 817-710-8689. Um, you had entered it on our website saying that you were looking to sell that property. So give me a call back. Let's have a chat about it, see if we can work something out. Appreciate you. All right, Liam, I'm going to change things up. Let's change things up. Uh, I'm going to go to clearance. Ooh. I want the first one. Palestine? Yep. Oh, no, no, it's listed. Rejected. Bye-bye. Uh, North Star, Michigan. Yes. Yes, North Star, Michigan. I like that one. Yep. Okay. So they did not put in their full address. I see. Very good. Hello. Hi, is Tammy there? Who's this? Uh, this is RJ Bates. I was calling you about your property there in North Star. Um, you had entered it on our website saying that you were looking to sell that property. Okay, um, are you still looking to sell? Yeah. How much are you looking to get for it? Like 50000 50, Yeah. Okay. Um, when you entered it on the, the website, um, you didn't 
you didn't give me the full address. Um, are you willing to give me the address so I can look it up? Not at the moment because I did not put it on the website. Okay. Um, well, how am I supposed to know if I'm willing to give you 50000 if uh, if you won't give me the address? Well, on me. Get back on to me. You want, a couple you want to get back with me in a couple of days? Yeah. Okay. Um, is are are you the the decision maker for this property, or is there someone yeah, else that's just okay? Well, I just I heard someone there in the background. I didn't know if there was somebody else that I would need to talk to in regards to this property. Is it just you, or is there somebody else? Just me. Just you. Okay. Um, so you want to take a couple of days to think about giving me the address? Exactly. I see. Okay. Well, um, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I don't know that I'm probably going to be the right fit for you. Um, you know, mo most people are going to need that information to be able to do their due diligence, especially when they're making a decision on whether or not they want to spend $50,000. Um, I mean, you, you can give me a call back in a couple of days, but you know, I just wanted to be upfront with you, you know, that's, that's going to be necessary for us to be able to, to figure out if that's something that we would want to do. Well, I'm not mesmerized because I did not put it out there. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, you, you did fill out the majority of the, the form. I mean, you told us the roof needs replaced, the bathroom needs work, paint inside, flooring. It's owner-occupied, that you own the property. You've owned it for 10 to 14 years. There's no mortgage. It's not listed. You just you, you gave us your phone number, but you just didn't give us the, the address. I think you're uh, giving me messed up with somebody else. Okay, Tammy. Um, is your last name actually Stoner? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Well, uh, you have a great night, okay, Tammy? You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bro, she lives up to her name. <laughs> <laughs> Any human being of all time. Listen, one of two things. She either had a stroke... <laughs> And she just has, you know, I mean, she can't talk very well, or she is drunk as shit on a Wednesday at 540. I, I, I mean, when I was looking, I'm like, holy shit, her name is Tammy Stoner. Yeah. This, this could not be, like, any better Well, than... she's in Michigan. It's legal there. Yeah, North Star. I, mean, I know where that is. I've been there. I mean, the only thing, hey, Tammy drunk. I mean, that would have been the only other better last name. I mean, that was. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> She said, you're getting me confused with someone else. I'm like, no. There's, there, there's, there's no chance. Yeah, I mean, she, she put all of it in. She verified the phone number. Right. Text verification. Chris is saying that she had a stroke. I don't think that she had a stroke. Um, I'm, I'm not that going was there. was pretty heavy slurring. And then, like, I never put it on a website. I'm going with that was pure intoxication. All right. Yeah, she sounds a little bit hungover. <laughs> oh, man. There's a property basically in Canada and North Dakota. In North Dakota. Man. I just, <laughs> I want to just see how many buyers I have in this seeds. Lignite, <laughs> North Dakota. Lignite. If I have more than 10, I'm buying it. Not a chance. County, the county has 1,201. Dang it. Yeah, it doesn't even pop up. Okay. There's 223 <laughs> people in the city. What if I could convince them to just give it to me? But it's listed. No, it's not listed. No, it's not listed. 
What if I just call him and say, listen, you're just going to have to give it to me. It could be a great TikTok, Liam. I'm running it, man. Let's do it. No one else is going to buy Lignite North Dakota. <laughs> I am this seller's only chance to stop paying property taxes. <laughs> RJ versus the government, baby. This is what we're watching. This is, I mean, this is big moves. All right. Here we go, League Night. What's uh, the name? They did oh, not give us a name. Jason. Casey. Casey, Casey, okay. That's what's on the, yep. Hello. Hey, is Casey there? Speaking. Casey, this is uh, RJ Bates calling you about your property there on uh, 3rd Avenue. Yeah. You, had, uh, you entered it on my website saying you were looking to sell the property. Anymore. Okay, I got a question for you, Casey. Who? How did you find a buyer? Uh, they contacted me. Wow. Yeah. I I was blown away. I mean, the city's got a population of like 220 people. You, you there, Casey? Casey's still there, but he's driving through late night North Dakota. Casey, you there? We lost him. I can't believe it. He sold it. <laughs> Dude, of all the things, I didn't think you were going to be getting turned away. I, I know, all right? What? Uh, okay. Dude, he entered this thing twice. It's the next one right up, right below it. That's funny. Oh, what was it? No, there's there was no orders. So you, you know see, what, you know, man? He was just going through every site out there that would just make him an offer. Somebody made him an offer, man. Yeah, good for him. I'm happy for him. Jamari said some funny lady stoner couldn't give you the address because she forgot it. <laughs> Dude, uh, Palmdale, California. Okay, let's run that one. Just for Kip Stevens. Is that a clearance? Yeah, clearance. Palmdale, California. Zero orders. What? Oh, we're getting a call. Hang on. What? Yo. Okay, this is like... This is like the rich people area north of L.A. Hold on, Liam. Hello, this is RJ. You say RJ? Yes, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Um, may I ask who we're calling? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Tanja Lee. I, I've been looking at different houses, and um, I got so many uh, different addresses and stuff like that. And I was checking on houses, see if they want to uh, rent or sell. <laughs> oh, so you're calling me to buy a house for me? Yeah. Oh. I call people and try to buy houses from them. Oh, okay. Well, I do have. Um, you hey, I real, real quick, I got a question for you. Have you ever have you ever heard of the name R.J. Bates the Third before? No, who is that? That's me. Have you ever heard of Speed to Lead before? <laughs> no. Where? You ever heard of Batch Where Leads? 
where's it located? Speed Delete. Well, the crazy guy that owns it, he's in the Ukraine, but right now he's in Switzerland enjoying the the clear waters of Gen Geneva. But uh, I'm live on YouTube right now, by the way, with like uh, 100 people watching me uh, cold call leads live. So I thought you were somebody. I was trying to buy your house. Well, I am selling. Well, there you go. Um, well, I'm selling property. It's more or less like um, it's a house. Um, let me see. How can I describe it? It was our home house, okay? So we decided to um, – first we was going to renovate it, then we changed our mind because my mom is 85, and I said, well – she don't need all of that. So what we did, um, we gutted the house out. I put a new roof on there, and I just stopped. I said, no, that's just too much. So that's that's what it is. It's not a full, you know, everything's got to be redone inside. Okay. So it, let me ask you, as an investor, is there, uh, there going to be room in there for me to come in and, and be able to continue to fix it up and flip it? Or use it for cash flow as a rental? Is there going to be room in there for me? I mean, it's a house. I mean, you can, I mean, let me see, one, two, three. It's four bedrooms. Right, right. When I say room, when I say room, I'm more talking about like dollars and cents. You going to sell it to me where I got an opportunity to make money? Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you what I want for the house. Tell I me. I want 15000 That's it. Okay. 15000 Okay. And uh, what would it be worth fixed up? When will it what now? How much would it be worth when it's fixed up? Probably, probably sixty, seventy thousand. 70000 I would think. All right. Have you looked online at the property? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be completely honest. With you. I I don't even know what property we're talking about right now, but I'm rolling with the punches. Um, what is? I think someone else in my office called you, and they thought it was me. So <laughs> this is this is awesome though. Uh, what's what's the address so I can look it up real quick? Uh, Seven thirty West Gordon. You said West Gordon. Mm -hmm. In what city? Albany, Georgia. Albany, Georgia. Okay, there we go. Oh, I did call you. That was me. Albany, Georgia. There we go. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Mm -hmm. All right, you want 15000 And are you the, yeah. the only person on title? Yeah, it's my mom's house, but I'm doing it for her. She's the only one on the title. There's no lien, no nothing on it. Gotcha. I just want fifteen thousand, and we out. How much work do I need to do to it? Like, well, like, like I said, you're gonna have to do a lot of work to it. And I ain't gonna tell you no lie. Okay. And when I say a lot of work, you got to put in cabinet, fix your seat car. I took all that stuff out. We gutted the whole house out. So, is there sheetrock? Yeah, it's, it's sheetrock. Okay. Um, plumbing and electrical, is that good? It's good. Okay. And windows? Windows, you're going to have to probably replace some of them. Okay. Roof? Oh, the roof is new. New. The roof is not even a year old. That's it. That's far as I got. I put in a new roof. And what I did with the roofing, I had um, put a pretty good, decent roof on now. And when I say it's decent, it's not cheap. Because the stuff that I bought, I got it from Lowe's, and I got the top-of-the-line roof shingles. Okay. And then um, what about the bathroom? Those, like I said, everything is gutted out. Everything's gutted out. Okay. So I got to go in there and put a new tub and, and tile and toilet and vanity and all that, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, I have, um, now it's a, like an old time vanity that, um, 
we'll bring back over there if you all want it. You know, you can use that. I don't know if you want it or not, but um, we were going to put it back in the house when we start fixing up. Then I just changed my mind. Okay. Uh, let me see. It's a cute house. Yeah. But then, see, like, what you're seeing, like, the front porch and everything. Right. All that tore down. Okay. We were going to put a new porch and everything on there. But the front porch is torn down. And then we just stopped it at the roof. I completed the whole roof. Okay. So when you say that front porch is torn down, what I'm seeing here, it looks like that was like bricks. Did you did you tear down those bricks there? Yep. Yep, I did. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay. Man, that's that's probably gonna be the most costly part of the project right there. That uh putting that porch on. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, you got any wiggle room on 15? Legal room? What do you mean? Wiggle. Wiggle like a worm. Oh. Hmm. I don't really want to go lower than that or higher than that. And that's because I had to put in a new roof. I had to have it gutted out, you know, so for everything to be new in the house. Hmm. hmm. Well, think about it and let me know. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not much one for thinking about it. I'm just going to do the okay. 15. Let's do it. I got another offer, same thing, 15. I'm waiting on him to finish up everything. He's going to take a look at it and get back with me. So I really won't know nothing in at least about two weeks. For two weeks? I'm going to send you over a contract right now. <laughs> <laughs> what do they got to wait two weeks for? What are they doing? I want to send you over a contract right now and get you to sign it. But see, I don't, I don't just sign. I, I get a lawyer involved, you know, to make sure everything's legit because I don't want no issues down the road. We're closing at a title company. Huh? We're going to close at a title company. Hmm. I send you over a two-page contract. It says, your mom is selling my company, this property, for this much money in 30 days at this title company. That's all it says. And then we okay. and then we'll we'll open up title and then we're gonna meet and we're gonna close thirty days from now with the title company and then they cut you the check. It's the most legit way to do it. And you can look me up. I'm I'm all over the place. RJ Bates the third. I do I do sixty to seventy deals a month just like this. RJ Bates by Bates Motel. Okay, RJ Bates Investment. No, no, no. RJ Bates. My company is Titanium Investments. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Well, let me get let me think about it a couple of days because I want to see what he's gonna do. You know, because I don't I don't want to have this person. You know, want to send me a contract. That person want to send me a contract. So I just need to make sure it's done legally. And I don't run into no issues because there's no lien or nothing on the house, you know. Well, I understand, but that person they had their chance, and then they decided they wanted to wait. I I don't need to wait. I'm ready to send you a contract. So why are you going to wait on them? Good point. I mean, you you talked to them, and then they said, "Well, we need to come out. We'll see it." And then they need a couple weeks. What I'm saying is, is I'm willing to send you a contract right now. We go under contract. I'm going to come out there. I'm going to look at the property, make sure it's still standing. It's exactly what you told me it is. And then we go to closing. Okay. All right, RJ. 
Okay, let me do this. Let me talk to my mother. How about this? Because, let me do this. What? Why don't I send you a contract? And then you and your mom can look at the contract together. And then y'all can decide, is the guy that needs more time the legit buyer? Or is the guy that sent you a contract the legit buyer? And then y'all can decide who you want to move forward with. So I can give you a couple of days to look over my contract and you can have an attorney look at it if you want. But at least that way you've got something in hand, piece of paper that you can print off and it shows you I'm making you an offer for $15,000 right now. Okay. All right. All right. So let me look okay. this real quick. Let me make sure I got your email address. Um, I do not. Can do you like texting? Are you good with texting? Yeah, I'm good with texting. Okay, I'm gonna text you from my cell phone real quick. So you can text me over your um email address. Yeah, and then I'll send you over the contract tonight. Okay. Okay, that'll work. All right. It was a great talking to you. And uh, just give me a call back after you review the contract if you have any questions, okay? Okay, that'll work. All Thank right. You. Good night. Good night. There we go. Get her done. And look who we got here. We got Mr. Gene himself. Dude, that's a good night tonight, man. That's a good show, man. What's Thank up, you, buddy. Send me your email address. All right. So. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know what was happening. I thought she was trying to buy a property from me. And then it was like, on. Oh, no, she does have a property sale. I was so confused. Where, Leo, did you hear the beginning of that call? Yeah, I had no clue what was going on with that because she called in and was like, well, I'm looking to you know buy, look at properties to rent and sell. And you're like, all right, well, I, I'm looking to buy properties too. And then maybe you thought she was like some wholesaler calling in. Yeah. And you're like, do you know my name? And then she wasn't a wholesaler. I do have a property I'm looking to sell. What? That was that was crazy. And literally, one of the, the comments was, uh, did RJ just get cold called? Because it literally felt like that was she was cold calling me. I, it did. I, it was, really did. That was, uh, that was very, very odd call right there. But, hey, it's going gonna, it's gonna to end up being one of the contracts that we get tonight. I think I think out of tonight's show, we're gonna get that one, and then we're gonna get the one in in Oklahoma. That one in Oklahoma, that sounds like a done deal to me. I like that one really well. Yeah, as long as the wife doesn't say, "Hey, I want you to try to get a hundred thousand dollars," because the property is not worth that much. So if the wife doesn't try to make it where, you know, we do have to get an astronomical amount, I think that's a done deal. Gene, can you go show us Switzerland real quick? Nope. No. Nope. froze. Yep. <laughs> All I know from Gene being on the live is Europe has the worst Wi-Fi. Dude, I'm already I'm already back in France. I went to Switzerland for like one day. I flew Why? in. The morning, I flew in in the morning and I was out in the evening. It's like an hour flight from south of France to Geneva from Nice. Did you like it? Dude, I love, yeah, man, I love Switzerland. I've, I've been before, when I was working at IBM, I've been to Swi to the German side of Switzerland. Because it's crazy. Like, Switzerland, you have a German side and you have a French side. And on the German side, like, everything's German. People speak German. Right. On the French side, uh, French side, like, it's almost like France. Like, everyone speaks French. But it's a cool country, man. Like, and it's got mountains, man. It's got these mountains. So the, that water was like... It's a city river. Dude, I'm from right. Boston. Like, you, you go to Charles. You, you, if you ever dip your foot into Charles, it will, like, disintegrate. And this thing, like, you want to, it made me want to dive into the river and just drink it, bro. It was fucking <laughs> beautiful, man. Damn. Hey, hey, Gene, I got a question for you. Do you think Speed the Lead can start sending Liam to the Crucible? Yeah, hell yeah. So Liam comes and he's the representative for Speed to Lead at the at the Titanium Crucible. Yeah, I think we should we should definitely do it. There you at go. Least, we should at least try doing it. Liam, there you go, mm -hmm. bud. I just got you free trip to the Titanium Crucible. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you guys, that's five. Well, how much? What, how much what, it cost? The next one? Five thousand. Five thousand in value. It's worth that five thousand. What, what is the next one? Is it, is it like? 
Are you in second and third? Nice. Good. So we got nice. like a, a month and a week. Dude, Five that weeks. lines up that lines up so perfectly because I've got a marriage that I need to be in Dallas for on the fifth. Oh no way. <laughs> There you go. That's that's perfect. All right. Hey, can I call one more, Gene? Well, of course. Dude, we can do it, we, we had this one lined up in Palmdale, California. Yeah, let me see. Look at this, guys. Oh, Liam gosh. was freaking out about this one. Yeah, this one's ridiculous. So this one, I mean, it's in like a rich area north of L.A. They're tired of being a landlord. It's in fair condition. Flood, storm, fire damage, electrical problems. So that means there's a lot more. And it's tenant occupied? There's no mortgage on it either. And there nobody bought it. Ridiculous. I mean, this is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. We're, we're generating a shitload of leads nowadays. We're, we're really up to it. But it's... Dude, I, I, I mean, I've been looking at the uh, amount of leads on the website. It went from like nine to 11,000 in like a day. Jeez. Mm, they didn't verify their phone number. That's one of the problems with it. But, but still, who cares? That, that sometimes it's because the SMS some, some Twilio some some numbers Twilio just doesn't send to, like a lot of numbers for whatever reason. So sometimes it's not because the, you know, because of anything they just they just didn't get that fucking little digit verification. But let's see. I want to go to Crucible. I want to go to America, bro. I can't go to US right now. Sucks. Really? I well, because I'd have to leave my wife and and, and, and our baby in like a foreign country. I got you. We don't even speak French. <laughs> you know the French are rude about it too. So what have you been doing? Like long term Airbnbs? What's your? I don't even know what you're doing. Yeah, basically Booking dot com. Mm. Basically living in hotels. It's fucking expensive. Make some I'm money. sure. <laughs> yeah, gotta be selling enough leads to support that lifestyle. Where's <laughs> Ivan at right now? Ivan's in Ukraine. He's in Ukraine. He's fucking. His, the city he's at gets bombed every now and then. Every about, about once every week. He sends me pictures with like smoke and on us on the horizon. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed at this time. Please hang up and try your call again. All right, no go. I tried all the phone numbers there. Do one, one more. Do one more. I'm yeah. liking that idea. Let's, Let's go back to one of the first ones. Do a, we, we, do a fucking fresh one. Do a Brandon? fresh one. Do one that's fresh as fuck. We got one in oh. San Antonio. Oh, oh. shit. What Seller is motivation um, isn't the greatest. Upgrading? No, don't give don't give RG upgrading, yeah. man. I mean, what what else they what else they got? Up to date on mortgage? Yeah, oh, that's why that one's cheap. It's not super right. motivated. Okay. Give him one that's like fucking five hundred dollars. Well, how about this one? Well, this one's in kind of middle of nowhere, Georgia, but they checked every single box pretty much. Emergency reasons, financial reasons, death in the family, relocating, the property's in poor condition, the roof needs replacement, bathrooms need work, there's paint inside, electrical flooring, paint outside, 30 Farm to 50 house. years they've owned it. Farm Farms. This is in the middle of nowhere. Oh, fuck that. Oh, let, let me see how many buyers I got. Oh, all right. oh, oh, yeah. Oh, you got investor lift. Investor ah, lift. Yeah. And we're you talking. got 18 buyers there. Dude. And, RJ, we're going to have the uh, the man, Robert Wensley. We're going to have him on the show before too long. Dude, that's awesome. Let, dude, fucking have integ integrate Robert's thing with this, man. We're, we're all going to go IPO and make billions of dollars. Seriously. Hey, let's do uh, Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Death in the family, inherited property, good condition. You like it? I yeah. Like it. Cool. Look at this. Gene, what, what time frame am I doing it on? Uh, just do one hour. Do one hour. I like your balance, Liam. Me too. You better not go cash that out at the ICP <laughs> ATM in your <Yep>. city. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Yeah, if you want to see if you want to see Wensley on here, message Wensley and be like, "Yo, you should be on the Speed to Lead show." No, oh, bro. I'm, I mean, I'm getting I'm getting on the phone with him. In, uh, in oh, you're days. getting on the phone. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. As soon as he's back from uh, he's in like yeah. Punta Cana, going, Corey, he's bringing all those cartel members out there. Corey hooked it up with the intro. Corey's a Corey's a boss. Could have just asked me, Gene. Could have asked, asked RJ, by the way. Yeah. I I just think Rob Robert. I think Corey because he introduced me initially. William, thank you. thank you very much. For doing hello, sir. Doing I missed something. your call. Please leave your name, your phone number, the time of your call, and the day. Preferably be the date also. That's not necessary though. Uh, that way I know exactly when you called. Sorry I missed you again. Thank you. Bye. At the tone, please record your message. Give him all the information. <laughs> Drop it on. I'll tell you why he did that in a second. To leave a callback number, press 5. This is RJ Bates the third on April 27th, 2022. At 6.08 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'm calling about your property at 1342 Pewtown Road in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, 19460. You had entered it on our website that you would like to sell that property, and I would like to buy that property. Please call me back at 817-710-8689. Again, this is RJ Bates the third at eight one seven seven one zero eight six eight nine. Give him the time Thank one you. more time. <laughs> and again, it is six oh nine PM Wednesday, April twenty seventh of twenty twenty two. This is RJ Bates. Listen, if you're gonna go to that PM. detail on what you want in a voicemail and then have an explanation behind it, he's serious about it and he yeah. wants Okay. Dude, you and know what? Preferably He's, so that I know. He sounded like you know, not to pick on lonely people, but I think this guy, he fucking, he entered. You know, misconnections on Craigslist. You ever seen that shit? <laughs> he entered one in there. And he's waiting for the call back from somebody. <laughs> so he, he didn't want to miss that thing. Huh? I love it. All right, I'm done, fellas. That's, That's not bad, man. Got. Two contracts for the day is not a bad day. Yeah, it's it's gonna be good. I, it, it's interesting though. Uh, every show is a little bit different. This one was um, the one where the sellers were willing to work with us, and it worked out. But uh, they were also very skeptical, and they wanted to do their due diligence. You know, we've had a couple of episodes where it was like they were ready to ink right away. You know, these both of the sellers on these, they said, "Hey, I need to talk to another party." Let's have a conversation tomorrow, and so I'm okay with that. It was still it was still good and entertaining for everybody. Plus, we had Andy. Andy was good and entertaining as well. And and if you're watching this uh, not live, but if you're watching this later on, make sure to go to ispeedtoleed.com, enter the code Titanium right when you sign up. Don't forget to enter it right when you sign up. Yeah, or use the link, or just use the link in the description. Use that link in the description. That's money. Yeah, that's where people don't understand. That gives you fifty dollars to just try it out. Yep. Like, go buy you a lead, follow up with it, and and you're you're gonna get something from it. I guarantee you. And, if, and then use the code free ninety nine to get a lead for a dollar. And there's another secret. So for RJ's community inside his community inside of Crucible community, we give him some more uh, coupons that work all the time. Yeah. So Dude, we Crucible members get that other advantage too. Dude, we, we have people closing deals from Speed to Lead inside the Crucible community all the time. I mean, we the, the one I love to tell is the dollar dollar lead, and she closed for $42,000. Um, somebody else went and got one the other day, and they were telling me they were making like 60000 on it. I mean, it's crazy. The, the People are sleeping on this. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I mean, people are sleeping on this. And I don't really understand the reason why because – we're coming on here, and every single time I get on here, I get contracts. So I don't, it's, I don't understand. Yeah, it. it's it's getting there. It's getting there. We you know, like 
7,000 members, about only about 2,000 plus change of them actually buy shit. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we're growing. We're growing. There you go, Advertising man. on YouTube and all that stuff. We're, uh, we're actually raising venture money to just dump a bunch of fucking money into growth and uh, more members and all that stuff. So Love it. That would be good. All right, guys. Well, I'm out. Liam, see you next week, buddy. Dude, I'll be hey. seeing you next week, and I'll be seeing you in person in like a month, yeah. then, I guess. I love it. For those of you guys who don't know what the Titanium Crucible is, it's where you get to go, meet RJ, meet his team, see exactly how they do it. You get to go through, do all of it. It is uh, it's phenomenal. The link's in the description. But otherwise, guys, I'm going to close it out with a little ad reel here. You guys better watch it so we get our spends worth. We'll see you guys soon. Peace out. Are you looking to implement pay-per-click advertising into your real estate business? iSpeedTheLead.com is an a la carte PPC marketplace, allowing investors to get into the world of PPC on a budget. Browse and purchase PPC leads a la carte from all around the United States. These leads are from motivated sellers who